Geely have revealed a new electric car in China. Now, is this car going to be available outside of China? Well, considering many Geely EVs will become available or already are available outside of China, I thought it was worth having a look at this to see whether or not it was worth waiting for. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. So what is this car? It's an SUV, of course. The Geely Galaxy E5, which I assume will be rebranded as, uh, you know, could be a Volvo, could be a Z car, who knows? It, uh, it's been revealed and it does look very much like an EV. I mean, the front of it to me, because there's no grill or anything like that, it's just plastic. It looks very, very EV-ish. I'm not sure if I like it. Not bad, it's not terrible, but it's, yeah, just not really probably the car I personally like the looks of that much. What do you guys think? size of this car it's it's actually a fairly fairly good size vehicle for the price i mean the price is twenty thousand us dollars it starts at twenty thousand dollars tops out for the most expensive version at twenty seven thousand six hundred the design of the geely galaxy e5 is apparently inspired by the universe says geely it's pursuing traces of light and natural rhythms according to the brand anyway okay all that said it's a little bit smaller than a tesla model y 4.6 meters long and 1.9 meters wide. So, you know, about 10% smaller than a Tesla Model Y. So it makes sense that it's cheaper than a Model Y, right? But it's a little bigger than an Addo 3. So about 10% bigger than an Addo 3. BYD Addo 3. Power. Uh, the power is 160 kilowatt, comes from a, a front motor that is matched to a lithium ion phosphate battery pack supplied by S Volt Energy Technology Company Limited. Now we don't know what the range is or the actual energy density of the vehicle is because it's just been revealed by the Chinese government. Uh, but we do know that um, this is one of the three new EVs Geely said that they would launch this year. One's a plug-in hybrid, two are purely electric cars. And of course, you know, Geely, Geely has no real serious plans for the Geely brand to be EV only. They're doing that with Volvo. Of course, they're doing that with a Zika, the Zika brand. They pretty much only sell electric cars. I think the main takeaway for me here is if Geely were able to sell this overseas for say 30,000 US dollars, would it sell well this size vehicle, this price? I think it would. I think it'd be a real winner. Of course, where's it manufactured? It's manufactured in China. There's no plans to manufacture it outside of China. So not really relevant if you live in America, uh, but it definitely could be on the market if you live in Europe or Australia or something like that. Zika brand, I believe, is coming to Australia, which is really good news. Thanks for watching.